Hello, 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 everybody. I'm back for another episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We're going to deal, hopefully, with Divine Beast of Vanna Boris in this one. Let's uh, head over to that town, shall we? Without falling flat on our faces. So, in one of the Shrine Get episodes, or the getting the tower, that epi a bonus episode, I also uh, gave a little idea on how to activate that shrine. You have to wait until a certain time in the afternoon to where the shadow of the tower is actually uh, over, or like close to or over that panel next to it. Then what you gotta do is you gotta shoot an arrow up at the tower to, in quotes, pierce the heavens. And that's why I circled around the shadow and then circled right on over right back to it. Alright, we got some cold darners. Since we're going into the desert, I should probably keep my body heat down. And there is a shrine that we can uh, activate for an easy warp. <coughs> I'm really excited to see what Tears of the Kingdom is going to do with this desert. Because there's actually a ruin place on the far side called Arbiter's Grounds. And yes, the name is directly from Twilight Princess. I don't remember exactly where it is, though. Yeah, we're heading to Gerudo Town is what we're doing. Because we have to meet with the chieftain there. And if this goes correctly, uh, there is a little side thing that we have to do going up to the actual uh, Divine Beast. But that shouldn't be too, too difficult. It is going to be a little weird because I'm going to be doing it without uh, doing this next thing without stealth gear. All right, so that's open. Hmm? <laughs> Are you spying? Let him fall. Hmm? Ooh. That man is frequently traveling between Karakara Bazaar and Gerudo Town. Ah. Alrighty, so we have to go to the Gerudo Bazaar. Hello. Okay. Alright, sub arc. So we gotta head up to the bazaar, I guess. Shouldn't be too hard, it's right over there. Is that right, or is it closer to the palm trees, I would say? Hello? So I guess we gotta watch out for the Yiga, too. I haven't run into any of them facading like that. Not yet, anyway, but I don't really talk to travelers. Might have been a better idea to just teleport back to the uh, tower, jump off, and glide on over. I 
there are I think there are four spots where a boss can spawn in this area. One of them's over here. There's one like I think in this area. Okay, no, no, no. I'll have to check here later because I don't know. Um, this is an interest point for us later. So I'll, I'll mark that with a gem. For me later, anyway. And then I think over here is another one. Now, when we get the thing from uh, that we need from the bazaar, I will go ahead and just warp back over. Because sand travel is not really uh, easy or good. <clears throat> yeah, aside from my computer, the background noise that we have today is it's raining pretty hard outside. So if you hear wind chimes and uh, rain, that's why. Hello? Just a, uh, I'm just a guy taking a walk. <laughs> yeah, regardless of what you say, there's a, there's no going forward with any of those kind of uh, relationship things. Oh, hello. I'm surprised that didn't activate when we were over by the town. Weird. Because it's set to only activate when you're at the bazaar. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, excuse me. It's got purple feet. So that's Divine Beast Nivana Boris. Alright. It's, uh, it's a camel. <laughs> kind of a long cutscene, honestly, for just a divine beast, but okay. So that is divine beast two, and why we're over this way. Do I have anything to make stealth? Silent shroom, yep. All right, let's make a dish just in case. <clears throat> no, I didn't. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. All right. Sneaky steamed mushrooms. Level 3 sneak for 10 minutes. I think that's more than enough. Is that everything? Alright. I think that's all I need for now. Yeah, good to go. <laughs> oh, I knew it. Treasure! Silver rupees, yeah. Hmm? Hi. Oh. I have not been there. Okay. Interesting. An, <laughs> an ice guy. Hello. Interesting. 
interesting. Not a rush. Oh, that references Ocarina of Time. Only every 100 years a Gerudo male shall be born. So that's a name we actually have to remember for uh, something later. I'm going to need a lot of rupees for that and a lot of uh, wood. How much do I have right now anyway? 16 bundles. Yeah, I'm going to need like hundreds of bundles of wood for th uh, that specific thing that I just mentioned. But the person we're looking for, let me... Just because... <clears throat> That's who we're looking for. Mm -hmm. uh. mm. Oh. Mm. Hmm? Oh. I mean, I guess. Mm. Hello, take a look at us. <laughs> Thanks, Plushing, that's hilarious. Oh my lord. <laughs> Interesting. So now we have our ticket into Gerudo Town. Let's head back over that way. <clears throat> now, like certain other Zelda games, there are great fairies that uh, should be found. There are five of them in this game. One of them is actually at the Southwest Desert where we marked with that uh, gemstone. I know where the other four are. And the fifth one of that bunch... <laughs> oh, man. Um... Yeah, I know where all the great fairies are, and the fifth one is going to double as a EX thing. Because there's a little treasure over there. Hmm. Might be a little too young for that, but okay. Hey, they're selling hardy durians. Nice. Hello? What's the matter? Do I have ten? Oh. I don't think I have ten flint, do I? Let's check. Uh, that's materials. Oh, I, I have 12. Here you go. Don't have a problem. Uh... Topaz. Sure. 
So this gives you a freebie, which is really nice for uh, a resistance if you're wearing this. Topaz earrings. And the, since they're armor, we can actually upgrade them. Earrings made by Gerudo craft workers. They're made with Topaz, a gem that harnesses the power of lightning to increase electricity resistance. Cool. Sweet. Okay. Tools of the trade. Alright. Oh, hello. What's a Rito doing out here? Hello. That's fine. She's so sad. Oh, hello? Hmm, so we know where a good shop for arrows is. This goes. Well, this is who we were looking at, talking to. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Seem to have something rather interesting there. Protective much? I mean, the name's Link. We did it for uh, La Ruta. Hmm. Hmm? Hey, we're getting more lore. Hmm. I don't remember hearing uh, highly involved. <laughs> Wait a moment, you're involved. <laughs> the realization. Huh? These people are not stupid. At all. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow, I need to get more weapons. I really don't have much to be doing anything. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Interesting. All right. Two days. A hundred laps around Kuko Desert. Oh boy. I guess I have to go get rid of a Maldugo one of these times. Alright. So we did mark this off for later. I'm interested about this place. Alright. Let's go up the Gerudo Tower. Well, we're actually going to put on our stuff and things. It's going to be really weird. You know what? There's a little secret with the Yiga. So what I can do... A little extra armor. I should really be going with a one-handed weapon. I need to organize my stuff a lot better. <clears throat> this is going to be really difficult to do with the gear that I have right now. But hopefully we'll be able to get through it. Again, this might not be the best idea to do so, but <laughs> definitely going to try. Maybe I can get a, a bow or two on my way up. Carusa Valley, they said. Oh. If you seek power untold, offer a shiny blue stone. That is in reference to ooh, luminous stones. So we can get a warp back here by the look of it. <coughs> there indeed is a shrine. Honestly, if I had more hearts, I probably would have gone and got the, uh, the sword that seals the darkness already. Alright. Shodantu Shrine. Alright. I have a lot of stuff to be looking for. Get out of here. So, I ran into Beetle one time the uh, shop guy he gave me this as a appreciation gift <laughs> so what that can do is it pierces as long as you hit a guardian in the eye their defenses and does a ton of damage if you hit a normal enemy with it it'll basically i'll use the word zork it'll zork them out of existence Ow. 
like I said, bows. Duplex bow, 14x2. Oh, that'll help. There's so much rupees. That was a Yiga clan member. And we're going to have to be dealing with a lot of them. I'm hoping I can get one with a sword to show up. Why are they dropping bananas, also? <laughs> there you go. Gladly. Anybody else? This just got insanely more difficult. I honestly, I think I should really go looking for one of those items that I just talked about. Obviously, they want me to burn something here. Okay, we'll do that in a moment. I need to go find a Yiga that has one of their uh, blades because I really don't want to be in here with a spear and nothing else. So let's see if we can't go find one real quick. Duplex bow. If I wander down this path just a little bit, I should be able to get one to show up. I'm really just seeing if I can get one to spawn with a, a blade real quick. If I don't find one really soon, then I'll just uh, I'll just go do the hideout. Get that cleared out. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, unfortunately, I guess I'm going to have to not worry about it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Interesting location, though. Maybe I should have stopped off at Kakariko, Kakariko, Kakariko Village. That might have been a good idea. Because we're going to be sneaking. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Now, the original plan that I wanted to do with this episode, it was just going to be clearing out the Yiga clan stuff. We're about half an hour in on the gameplay, though. And I think it should only take me, like, if I do it right and I don't screw up, it should be about ten minutes. Take or leave. So I actually have fire arrows that I can use. Do I? No, I only have 36 of them. There's also a duplex bow. Do you mind? I'm going to go ahead and burn all these. Chest. Sapphire.
Definitely be interesting if there's anything else. I didn't mean to do that. Smacked it in the forehead. Mm -hmm. Honestly, let's just burn all these things. As we can. Oh. Oh. Ah. That's what I was looking for. Um, where's my inventory? Vicious sickle. A grim weapon favored by the Yiga. The half moon shape of the blade allows for the rapid delivery of fatal wounds and serves as a symbol of their terror. Its durability is low. The catch with this is if you land a sneak attack on the big guys in this place, it's an instant kill for them. But that's if you can land a sneak shot on them. Is the issue. Let's see what this last one has. Okay. So there's an extra duplex bow if we need to come out there. Yiga clan hideout. Let's see. Bananas. All right. So am I able? Oh, great. Hmm. We have that equipped. I'm waiting for a guard to show up. Okay, I might have to go in the focus mode. So I'm going to go on mute, and this might take a little bit longer than I'm expecting, so yeah.
Jeez. I think we're safe. I think we're safe. Okay. <clears throat> Man, I, I freaking hate doing this. And it's worse still. Because as part of the DLC, we actually have to do this... Uh, in reverse, as, worse, as horrible as it sounds. But, uh, yeah, we are uh, looking pretty good. There was another Yiga Clan weapon called the Demon Carver that I kind of wanted to get my hands on. Oh, that's metal. Okay. I don't think there's one in here, though. Let's see. What we have in here. And yes, I had to waste the ancient arrow on that first guard. Because the, the bow didn't want to... Uh, the bow didn't want to knock down that first set of bananas. I hope... <laughs> my voice is shaky now. I'm... <clears throat> All right, so we're out of the hideout. Where are we now? Hey. Hmm. <gasps> Introducing the funniest boss of Zelda lore ever since then. Who the heck are you? What are you doing in my napping spot? Wait a minute. Hmm? Huh? A thing on your hip. Is that... Could that be a Sheikah Slate? If it is a, if it is a Sheikah Slate, then that means... Yeah, it's you! You're that Link guy I've been looking for! What luck! My scouts are out in the field looking high and low, but you just wander into my head out! Oh, oh, excuse me. I haven't introduced myself yet. I am the leader of the Yiga Clan! The strong, the burly, the one, the only, Master Koga! Now, prepare yourself! Alright. Yiga Master Koga. I love this boss for just how hilarious he is. <laughs> oh. Also, nice music, too. <laughs> oh, he's already angry. I hope this guy comes back. In Tears of the Kingdom, somehow. <laughs> so, the boss is really simple, all things considered, but. Oh, he's double that. <laughs> Oh. Uh-oh. 
Smack him with his own device. <laughs> And drop it on his head. Who would have thought I'd be done in like this? And by this guy of all people. You think I'm just gonna let this stand, do you? <clears throat> Almost lost my temper there. Ugh, what a pain. I can't go out this way. What to do, what to do? Hmm? I got it! <laughs> Oh, that laugh. <laughs> I need to bust out my serious moves. Secret technique taught by my father's mother's father. It will destroy you. This is the end. <laughs> that is a giant metal ball. Huh. <sighs> <laughs> uh, huh. maybe it's just a tad bit a too big. Are you still over there? Well, no matter. Pretty soon you'll be gone, and not just from my line of sight. Only the leader of the Yiga clan can use this secret technique. It is the ultimate... No. Oh. <laughs> this freaking ponytail. <laughs> Coward, I will be remembered! The Eagle Clan will track you to the ends of Hyrule! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> hey! Huh. You know what? Maybe I should just leave this. Hello, Thunderhelm. Maybe I should just leave this as its own thing. Uh, where am I at? 49 minutes? Yeah, sorry if you've been watching all this, but, um... I think I'm gonna let it end there, and then I'll do an episode solely for the Divine Beast. I know I did wind-up stuff for, um... Yeah, I know I did wind-up stuff for, uh, Varuta, but... Von the Boris, I think, is going to be a bit longer of a dungeon by comparison, but. Hmm. I could definitely. I kind of have more time than I uh, was anticipating. So I can go ahead and do stuff and things. Different. But we'll return the helm to Riju and then we'll. Uh... Actually. I'll wait on that for next episode. So drop a like for the Yiga clan. <laughs> that was uh, kind of terrifying, all things considered, but... Uh, hopefully we won't have to go through that for a while again. Uh, yeah, drop a like, comment, all that good jazz. I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna go look for the Great Fairies, and then I'll do the Divine Beast. That shouldn't take too long. I don't think uh, commentary is going to be needed to uh, find the Great Fairies. Just the amount of rupees is going to be a pain in the backside to get. So yeah, like, comment, all that good stuff. I'll catch you in the next episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Join me with, uh, or whenever that goes on, for uh, that Divine Beast. Any support you can always, any support you give is always appreciated, regardless of how much or how little. Best way to help me out is to consider subscribing as usual, but uh, yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. I'm going to do some stuff and things, and I'll be back uh, whenever. Well, that's it and done. Thanks once again for watching, and bye-bye-bye.